Hey, what's up guys? Today's quick tip is about the five money saving tips that you can take advantage of starting today as a startup. Coming up next. So what's up guys? It's Diana here with the Passion to Business TV, helping you transition your passion into a business. So today I'm talking about five money saving tips that you can take advantage of today. So typically as a startup, one of the number one concerns that most people have is I do not have the money or I don't have enough money to get started. So there's a bunch of different things that you can do. However, the one thing I always like to suggest is looking at the money that you currently have today and seeing where are you uh, spending too much or where can you kind of shed some of that off. So today I want to talk about five great resources that I love to use. So so the first one I like to use is RetailMeNot.com. And the reason why I love RetailMeNot.com is because it's super, super simple to use. All I have to do is go to the homepage. I search for the specific store that I want to see if they have any coupons for. And if they do, then I'm usually able to order it online and I can go pick it up in the store, uh, have it delivered or so forth. But it doesn't interrupt your purchasing ability. It just gives you the ability to use a coupon code. So if you can save 10, 15, even upwards of, I'd say, 40% on basic purchases that I was going to make. For example, like Office Depot, they usually have a lot of great coupons out there. Even something simple as Pizza Hut for when I just personally want to buy something for like if my nieces and nephews are coming by and we want to buy a pizza, then, you know, I'm not being cheap. I'm being efficient <laughs> by going on pizza, pizzahut.com and checking for it. even coupon codes outside of what the website offers. And then also even just other simple daily tasks like uh, AutoZone or Advanced Auto Part. I don't know where you may be in the world or what stores that you may have uh, available to you, but those are two of our most consistent ones, especially like Advanced Auto Parts. They have a lot of different coupons, whether it's a physical one that you can take in the store uh, an online one that you can use or anything like that. So that one that's really great. Uh, the second one that I really love to take advantage of is Amazon. So on Amazon, you typically won't find uh, a lot of coupon codes or I'm not familiar with any that you may find. However, uh, on Mondays is what they consider Cyber Monday. You don't have to wait until Black Friday before you're able to make a purchase. On Mondays, they offer different deals and different discounts where you can take advantage of whatever sale that's going on and potentially something that you may have bought Thursday, just wait until Monday where you can purchase it and you'll get it for a little bit cheaper. Even if it's five, 10 or $15, it adds up as time goes over. So that's the second one. Third tip I love is uh, Honey. It's a new one I actually just started using, but I really, really like it. The Honey web app, it's available in the Chrome store, the Google Chrome store. So what you do is once you download it, you open it up, it's it's gonna be in the top bar of your toolbar and your web page, so that wherever you're going to shop online, uh, again, this is not taking any additional time or space uh, out of your online purchasing ability or anything like that, but it lets you know if you're getting the best deal, are you paying the best price for that particular thing or who has the cheaper price? This is awesome because it makes it super easy to know if, you know, maybe I shouldn't go to Amazon today, maybe for whatever reason, maybe eBay.com. And if that's working best for you, then go for it. Fourth thing is affiliate links uh, via different pages or companies or entrepreneurs that I support or follow. So if you're uh, anywhere available on online marketing or have anything to do with that, then you may be familiar with the names of like Pat Flynn, um, or you have the podcast Answer Man, or you have, uh, or of course, for, of course, for me doing podcasts, I had to get familiar with some of these people, just different people that are out there doing their thing, working their magic out in the online uh, marketing and online business space. And so they have a lot of companies that want to partner with them. They specifically use certain resources, even themselves for their businesses. And as a benefit to us, our listeners or, uh, you know, tribe or whatever you want to consider yourself or just someone that, you know, likes to get good information from good people, then typically when you're following someone, they'll let you know if they have a special deal with that particular company where you can get a better price through them, through their affiliate link versus just if you went to their, their uh, link all, all by themselves. So one great example of this is through Bluehost. 
So every entrepreneur needs to have a web presence. So with Bluehost, you can go to their typical homepage and you may get a, a entry level type, um, an entry level type price that you can use. However, if you go through someone's affiliate link, like for example, and I'm not just throwing it out there because I have one, but I have an affiliate link for Bluehost. So if you go through that, you get, sometimes you get a little bit of a better deal per month that you can shave. So at the end of the year, you're talking about maybe saving 40, 50, $60 for the year versus just going through the actual site and using it yourself. And so there are other things from, uh, like again, just from your finances to different programs or apps that you may use where you can get it at a discount or you can get it with a bonus. So for uh, another example, for Pat Flynn, uh, a lot of times on his most recent podcast, you'll hear where he's talking uh, about uh, an advertiser where they'll get a $100 bonus uh, package towards you know different designs. And I think it's 99designs.com. And so when you order through his particular link, then you get a uh, $100 or $200 bonus towards your new package or next package that you may order for designs. So really great tips, really good things. So just who, who are you already supporting? What services do you already support? You know, what entrepreneurs do you follow, whether that's for, um, you know, YouTube people that you like to follow or certain people on Facebook that you like to follow or whatever, but just, you know, who are you already supporting and following that they have a deal or something that you can take advantage of? And then on the back end, it helps them too. So just offer as like a, a side thank you to them for just maybe the great information that they get from you. So I know uh, me being a follower of Pat Flynn and just uh, different things that he's able to do, then that's someone like if I'm going to get a service, nine times out of 10, I may go through whoever I'm already supporting or whoever I'm already following. Uh, just to give them that added thank you and bonus, um, you know, just for giving us the deal or supplying it or even just letting us know about it. So that's my fourth tip that I love. Fifth tip that's great for uh, saving money as a startup is uh, if you're what I like to call a workpreneur, a workpreneur discount. And what that means is you're working a job, but you're an entrepreneur, i.e. workpreneur. Made it up myself. So, <laughs> and that lets you know a couple of different great things. Uh, one, most people are usually some type of student. They typically work a job, uh, but that's the number one thing. What major employer are you working for and do they have a discount just for you? I know from uh, entrepreneurs that may work at restaurants like Ruby Tuesdays, or if they work at a major retailer like Target or Walmart, um, or just, you know, any of those companies like that, they usually offer a discount, employee discounts that are available to you from purchasing laptops, purchasing equipment, even to getting uh, other discounts with other services that you could potentially use for your business. So if you're gonna have to buy a laptop, a new computer or something like that, you wanna check through your uh, human resources website or wherever you may have to go through your intranet or internal uh, internet system for your particular company and see what discounts are available to you as an, uh, just as an employee, not as an entrepreneur, but as an employee. And you can benefit uh, in your business from being able to buy it that way. Uh, another thing is like, are you a student? Um, I recently found out, as most of you guys know, I, I'm, a, I'm a college student as well. I still take classes. And uh, I found out that I get certain discounts through my school for certain services. Um, or my employer may give a certain discount even to my school and it benefits me. Um, that, so that's one great thing. So it's not always a terrible, terrible thing to still work a job if that may be the case. But you know, if you're there, take advantage of the services and the business and the tips and everything that you can get, take advantage of it uh, while you have it. Uh, another thing still under this type category for discounts is a lot of times as an entrepreneur or a solopreneur, you're kind of doing this thing by yourself. Don't trip off of the fact that it's just you because that in itself can be a blessing. If you are someone that has a nonprofit or if you're someone that, like I said, you just started an LLC or incorporation or what have you, you're a business owner now. So as a business owner, you get to run your business like a business. And what that means is that you don't always have to shop retail like everyone else. There are a lot of different companies that are out there 
from bank accounts to different, um, you know, like, like I said, again, I'll use like Office Depot or Staples or something like that, where now you can sign up for business accounts where you're able to get even like a 10 or 15% discount simply because you are a business owner. So no, you don't have to be a big major retailer like Target to take advantage of this. You just a brand new entrepreneur, a startup entrepreneur have the ability to take advantage of these different discounts. So when you're going at some place and you're getting ready to purchase something, maybe you want to call customer service first and see what types of, of discounts are available for nonprofits uh, if that's what you are or are available for businesses. For example, if you are a nonprofit and you're using PayPal, did you know that PayPal has different service terms, different agreements, different fees even, or fee schedules for nonprofits, completely different than a personal account, completely different than a business account, just a regular business account. So you wanna check that out and ask, just call customer service and say, hey, I'm a business owner, I have a corporation, and I wanna know what type of discounts or services do you have available for entrepreneurs, or not just for entrepreneurs, but for uh, corporations, and they'll let you know all the details. So those are my five quick tips uh, that I like to go through and just check things out before I'm getting into uh, purchasing something, I wanna see where the deal is, uh, and I would encourage you to do so as well. So here's my question of the day to you guys. What services, what programs, or what applications do you use to help save you money in your business or even just in your daily life? I encourage you to reply down below in the comments, share below, like, uh, subscribe if, if you're not familiar with this channel, but you know, let us know what types of, of tips do you have to help save money during your everyday process. So that's all I really have for today, guys. I hope those tips were uh, good for you, that you'll be able to use them, that they'll be beneficial to you. Uh, and like I said, if you have any recommendations or anything that you wanna see, any questions, just post so in the description box below, uh, however, or in the comments below. But uh, I wanna thank you guys. If this is your first time checking out the channel, uh, the Passion to Business TV, this network is dedicated to helping you transition your passion into a business and I want to encourage you to go ahead and subscribe to my newsletter at dianagladney.com or the smallbusinessstartup.com both of them take you to the same place and what you'll be able to get is the top limiting beliefs that help keep you from moving forward as an entrepreneur so I encourage you to check that out it's a one hour audio program that I put together as well as a 12 page ebook so check that out and I will talk with you guys later right here on P2B TV chat with you later Bye.